This is Jin Rutian, the first author of a study recently published at the Ambo Journal. In this paper, we investigated what analyzed the efficacy of a common use chemotherapy drug, 5-4-Uracil, also known as 5-FU. This work was performed in Dr. Jun Lu's laboratory at the Yale University Stem Cell Center. As you may all know, conventional cell toxic chemotherapy remains a key treatment modality for many cancer types. 5-FU is one third drug that is widely used in the treatment of a range of cancers, including colorectal cancer, pancreatic cancer, breast cancer, and others. But clinical responses vary substantially among patients. This leads to the important question of what determines the sensitivity and the response to 5-FU in vivo. The conventional model is that 5-FU reduces tumor burden primarily through their killing of cancer cells. But is this conventional model fully correct? In our paper, we propose a new model. We propose that in the presence of a functional immune system, the primary reason of 5-FU efficacy is that 5-FU triggers sting activation in cancer cells, leading to cancer cell initiate anti-tumor immunity to reduce tumor burden. In our study, we show that 5-FU can trigger the activation of sequestin pathway in cancer cells, leading to type 1 interferon production. Knocking out components of this pathway in cancer cells, for example, sting, substantially reduces 5-FU efficacy on tumor in vivo, but without affecting 5-FU sensitivity in vitro. We further show that cancer cells produce type 1 interferon are sensed by immune cells, leading to T-cell-mediate anti-tumor immunity. Furthermore, in human colorectal spice mans, higher sting expression is associated with better survival and responsiveness to chemotherapy. Overall, our results support a model in which 5 field triggers cancer cell initiate anti-tumor immunity to reduce tumor burden. We speculate that our findings could be harnessed to improve therapeutic effectiveness and achieve a better balance between drug dosage and toxicity in patients with colorectal or other cancers. We hope that you will enjoy reading our paper.